Hey, it's me, Zanov, and welcome back to the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim Anniversary Edition Legendary Difficulty Survival Mode Playthrough. How are we doing, ladies and gentlemen? I'm doing pretty good myself. I've had my French toast with my maple syrup and strawberries, and I just finished off my coffee, and I'm feeling energized and ready to go for episode 16. There was a little, there was a little while there where we, uh, where I, I forgot which episodes were what, and I was just recording so much. It was around the time of the 24-hour shifts, and I was just recording so much that I, uh, I, I didn't even know what episode we were up to. I was just trying to pump them out as quick as I could, and would you look at that down there. That looks like something we should go attend to. Ooh, mm, should we, should we, or should we? Yeah, let's do it, and then we'll have to find Gregory afterwards. As always, good old Gregory because we can't fast travel anywhere we won't have them spawn next to us and i don't feel like using the good old foot falcons to get around everywhere it's just not my thing it's just a little bit too slow pretty funny coming from a survival mode playthrough but hey it's better having a horse as slow as it is it's better than walking anyway largish bird discovered oh no Ah, okay, it's a nameless orc. Good, good, good. It's not uh, anyone we have to be scared of. Like, it's not like we missed anything. Talk or orc. Okay, that's an actual... Okay, so you're expendable as well, it seems like, in this instance. So, let's... Uh, let's use Soul Trap on him. Let's get ready to use Soul Trap, I think. So, we'll go bang. We'll go bang. Hit up that... Let's get some stone flesh out as well. Um, I hope these guys haven't aggroed me. No, they haven't. It's something down here. Must be like mud crabs or something, I guess. I don't know. But uh, oh, how are we going to get rid of this dude without... Um... Oh, jeez. He's coming after me. How are we going to get rid of this dude without uh, getting those orcs aggroed onto us? We'll have to do this least amount of area damage. Get him up a little bit. Come Liliana, you've got this. Don't worry, Ugo. We got you. This giant's almost down. What is... What's that? What are those red dots? What are they? I'm genuinely confused as to what they are. Is it the goat? It's the goat, isn't it? Why is the goat... Okay. Alright, yeah, Ileana, you'll... I guarantee she will kill whatever it is that is uh, hostile to us. So, loot him. Loot him, don't mind me. Just looting your buddies. And... Are you going to talk to us? No. Halt! You have no business here, outsider. Leave at once. Hey. Uger, no. This may be the one we need. We need nothing from outsiders. Yamars will provide for us. We cannot carry on this way. You know we are doomed if we do not do something. Yamars charged me with keeping outsiders away from Largishburg. Would you have me disobey him? You were charged with keeping us inside the walls. Have faith, Uger. I only wish the best for our tribe. Fine. It's your neck. Forgive Uger's harsh words. She's merely doing as she's been told. It's all good, I understand. Um, hmm. What's going on here? Please, our tribe suffers, and we need help. Our chief Yamars was once a strong and proud warrior. Now he is stricken, cursed. He is weak, and so our tribe is weak. The giants sense this and intrude on our territory. Now they assault our very home. Yamars refuses help. But I sense that you may be just what we need. Hmm. What can I do? Your Mars has demanded we stay inside the walls. We cannot leave. I must petition Malakath for relief. This curse must be lifted. But I cannot travel to Malakath's shrine. The ritual must be done here. And I do not have the materials I need. Uh, I beg of you. Yes. Can you bring me troll fat and a daedra heart? I have no wish to depend on a stranger, but I have no choice. Another fetch and gather quest. Um, 
Who is Malakath? You do not know of Malakath? He is the keeper of oaths, the master of curses. He is quick to anger and slow to forgive. One who wrongs Malakath is one who will endure great torment in return. He demands loyalty and strength from his orcs. We have tried to please him, but he is now angry with us, and so we suffer. Where do I find a Daedra heart? In a Daedra, of course. Wow, thanks. We are counting on you. For someone who really needs my help, you uh, you were pretty blunt with me there. I don't know if I want to help you. Nah, we will help you, but it'll be a thing that we put on the back burner. I think there's going to be a lot of quests that we put on a back burner, or there might be a dedicated episode where I just do the courier. Important to make. To make. No, no time, time for chatting. chatting. Uh, there might be an episode where I just clear out a lot of the fetch and go do this and can you get this for us kind of quests. We'll just uh, go through and machine gun bullet those through and uh, then get back onto the more media quests. That might be something we do. I don't know. We'll have to see. But first, let's have. Let's get rid of this fella. Soul trap. We didn't get that soul trap, I don't think. Soul trap. And good. Didn't even have to do anything. Ileana proving to be very, very, very strong. I'm so glad I picked her up now. Gregory should be somewhere just around here. And I lose faith in that statement as I see the bear. Hmm. Hopefully it doesn't one-shot us. Definitely could one shot us. Ah, but not with Ileana. Ileana's gonna absolutely mess this dude up. Where have you gone? Nope. Let's, uh, let's get this guy's soul. Sorry. There we go, soul captured. Now, Gregory, where are you? You should be around here, and if you're not, I have no idea how I'm going to find you. Gregory, Gregory, Gregory. Please, oh please, be somewhere nearby. Oh, I can't see anything. No, 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 this is no good. Uh, we're going to have to either find Gregory, or we're just going to have to foot falcon it. Okie dokie, we've just stumbled across these zombies. So I guess they spawn out in the wild as well. Um, but my goodness, to get to this point, we're, just, we're still here and we're still traveling up there. I have died that many times trying to just make this walk. One of the times was because of these zombies. Because they are so dang strong. I've got... I'm hoping we can get them this time, and then we can just continue on with the quest because I have been playing for so long, just trying to make my way to get this quest done, and I just keep being sent back to, uh, I have been just getting sent all the way back to the orcish stronghold. So what I did, I had to do it, I looked at what the quick save button was, and now I'm just pressing it compulsively. Because I'm getting so sick of this. Um, how's this guy going? Is he going good? It seems like he's doing decent. But I think he's going to run out soon. He's only got 60 seconds. But he seems pretty powerful. There we go. He's gone now. Let's get him back up. Because he seems like he does a decent job. I'm not sure if spawning him in... Okay. And that just answered my question then. I was about to say. I'm not sure if spawning him in actually increases my conjuration. But I guess it does. Man, these guys are so... They, they just got so much health. And here we go now. We got these guys as well. My gosh. I cannot catch a break. Let's just... Oh, at least they'll help. Okay, actually they'll help because they're all... Uh, they're all... They uh, don't like each other either. Hopefully the other bandits stay down there for now. I want to... Uh, ooh, let's healing hands you. Real quick. After healing hands and you, let's get 
courage out as well to help you out. Skadoosh. Good stuff. Um, let's get Stone Flesh up as well if I can. Uh, how about Fury? Will Fury work on these zombies? No. No, they won't. But, man, they are strong. Look, they... That... That bandit outlaw had like one zombie on him and he died. And for the longest time he was whittling away other zombies' health, but he still died. Like it's just absolutely insane. I need to get back down there and healing hands her. I'm just not I just don't have any damage. I don't have enough damage. Oh, let's try and get rid of this dude. Good, good. I need to healing hands her and get her back up because she is like the main the main uh part of my damage output right now okay she's healing herself good stuff let okay let's make quick work of these bandits then Ilya. just gotta make sure no zombies ah oh, stop pressing that i gotta make sure no zombies like sneak up on me and get me man this is insane these guys are so powerful the survival mode is seriously making things so difficult because I just run past so many enemy type NPCs while I'm trying to travel to a place. Like, it's just absolutely insane. And look at how powerful that zombie... Did you see the, the damage that zombie did to that bandit? Like, I'm sh sure it's just a low-level bandit, but jeez. Regardless... Ooh, we'll harvest that. Okay, finally. Looks like that might be the last one. Let's get him. Let's get him. Good. My goodness, man. Oh, Orcish Mace, that's pretty good, but I don't have the carry weight for it. Okay. Let's get that back out. Let's get this back up. Let's courage her again. And let's get out Strangulation. Like, look at this thing, man. It is just a tank. It has so much health. Come on, here we go. Are you even encouraged right now? Or I just encouraged you? Did I miss? Yeah, I'll heal you up as well. Here we go. There we go. Keep the healing going. Keep the healing going. My gosh, look at this thing. It is just a sponge. Freaking hell, I'm just going to have to try and smack it. Hopefully it's not doing too much damage to Ilya. It's so hard to avoid damaging Ilya with these spells. Man, it's just this takes so much damage. I'm gonna have to wait for my I'm gonna have to wait for my magic card to go all the way back up and then I'm gonna spawn one of those uh those uh what do you call it? Undying ghosts again. Because this is just insane. I feel like that's the only thing that's gonna help us out at this point. Get you back up. Come on, come on. What's your health looking like, Ilya? Come heal yourself. And let's try and get... Oh, man. Okay. I'm just going to take a potion and try and get that Undying Ghost in real quick. That did nothing. My magic pool is so high that that did absolutely nothing. Get that. That. Come on. What else do we have? No more magic potions. That's gonna have to do. This dude is just crazy strong, man. There we go. Hopefully that's enough magic so he can do some decent damage. Man, this thing is... It is just taking so long. Come on. Oh, so crazy strong. Come on. I wish these pets would do some damage too. Now I got a healing hands you again because I do not want to accidentally kill you. My gosh, come on! This thing is insane. Look at look at the health on it. I can't do anything. I just got to stand here and hope that they get it. Oh man, come on! I just got to hope this guy doesn't time out. There we go. There we go. Keep going. Here we go. Get it. Get it. Oh my gosh. Oh, and all that for nothing. 
Okay, let's continue on to Arquind Point, or what is it? Arquind, yeah, Arquind Point. <sighs> and here we go, Arquind Point. So, I'm not seeing, I mean, there's a quest marker on our map, which is here, but uh, there's no quest marker like in the world. So I don't know if something's bugging out and I really hope a certain something doesn't come popping out of that because that would be awful. Would be awful. That's uh, exactly what that is. So I hope he can take care of that. We're gonna get this word of power while we're here. Word of power learned, stamina, stamina drain, vitality. Decent enough, I suppose. That Otranak is not gonna last very long against that white lord. Hmm. I don't know how I'm gonna go about this. Okay, she's here and she's doing a bit more. She's doing a hell of a lot more damage. Cool, cool. That's good, that's good. Alright, let's get this back up. Let's get this on her. Let's start smacking him with this. Hopefully he doesn't do a crazy amount of damage to her. Good, he's not. I know you're on my side. And I'm trying my hardest not to hit you with this. Come on, here we go. Hopefully this ne the next part of this quest is indoors. Because otherwise I'm just going to die. If my health keeps draining from these weather effects. Okay. Let's see if we can get an Oshnak. Oh, disarmed, hey? Hopefully, I'm not, I'm not overly against it. Oh, okay, she's got another dagger. I was going to say I'm not against it because I'd rather her use her magic here instead of the dagger, but it's all good. Hopefully we can keep dwindling this dude. And can we soul trap these things? I completely forget. Let's give it a go. So, bang. I don't think we got him. Hopefully our magic regenerates enough to get him. Oh, we got him. Cool, cool, cool. Sweet. Ancient Nord Great Sword of Cold. Target takes five points of frost damage to health and stamina. Okay, we'll take that. And we haven't given you anything, have Still we? Here. I need to trade some things with you. What do you want me to carry? Uh, there's a bunch I want you to carry, actually. Dark Light Tower Closet Key. Uh, I wonder what that opened. Hopefully we didn't miss anything. Give you that. I really don't want you using the, the great sword, I'll be honest. Please don't use it. I would much, much rather you keep using the Magicka. Um, hmm. That's enough for now, anyway. We've got heaps to carry weight now. You really need to put that away. That's not your strong suit. Your magic abilities are, like, far outweigh uh, your ability to use that sword. I would think, anyway. I would think. Nothing guaranteed, but that's just what I'm thinking. And that's a trap. I'm going to guess it's for that thing, so I'm just going to trigger it. Yep. Okay, okay. We're going to save here, because I'm not sure what's waiting for us. A Draugr Death Overlord. Okie dokie. Cool stuff. This is going to be a hell of a lot harder than I originally thought if we keep running into these guys and trying to get to this person. Let's do this a few more times, get our alteration up. Let's courage her. Let's um, get a flame Atronach back out. Bang. Yep, that's where I wanted it. Cool. Man, this thing is insane. Oh my gosh. And we got things shooting at us with bows. They will one-shot me if I let, if I do not be careful. Oh man, this is this is insane. Just <laughs> and after all this, we're gonna get these aren't even bosses. These are just the things before the bosses. What is that? Oh okay, no no no. Okay, we're we're about to reach them, looks like. Um come on. Dang, I don't know how... Okay, we're going to have to healing hands you real quick. And this is about to get real hard for me. No, 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 no. Oof, oof. My gosh. Holy, holy, jeez. 
we're not going to be able to do this. We're not going to be able to do this. I'm cold and I'm moving so slow. This is, this is impossible. Did I kill her as well? I might have actually killed her. I really hope I didn't kill her. She was down, wasn't she? Okay, no, she's still alive. Good, good, good. Oh, man. This is just... Frig. I don't know. I... Oh, man, I hope I didn't save too far back. This is just going to be crazy to try and do. Okay, yeah, I saved right here. I remember now. This is going to be crazy to try and do. I don't even know how we're going to do this. Um, if I take a potion of resist cold, does that affect anything in the like weather effects of... I'm just going to give it a go anyway. Um, potion of resist cold resist... Nah, it's not even... It's not even that handy. I don't know how we're going to do this, man. I don't know how we're going to do this. Okay, the only thing I can think of is if this guy is strong enough to do something. Hopefully he is. And I'm dead already. My gosh. I will... Oh, we're just going to skip ahead to when I get this under control. Okay, here's what I'm thinking. There is that much stuff going on down there, and I am so weak, and I'm going to die from the cold if this takes too much longer. The only thing I can do is kill Crow's Tooth and then just literally make a run for it down the mountain. Once I get the quest done, I'll probably try and loot her, and then after that, it's just going to be a matter of running down the mountain, and this is probably going to kill me. Yep, I would say so. My gosh, this is just like ridiculously unfair and I've contracted food poisoning. Terrific. Dead. Okie dokie guys, that has taken so long. We've just killed Crow's Tooth. The Draugr Death Overlord is just refusing to die. I don't think we're going to be able to get it, but we've got Tyrant's Bane. We'll take it. Um, and just because I don't think I'm going to be able to, I don't think I'm going to be able to cut in the other thing we got from one of the associates that we killed a bit earlier. We got Dismal Visage and there was something else. Ah, oh, it was a weapon. And we got Namir Namira's Itch. So Tyrant's Bane and Namira's Itch, both of them looking like very, very good weapons. But we need to search the tower and hopefully... Oh, there's still two Draugr Rites up here. I don't know how we're going to do this. I really don't know how we're going to do this. Going to quick save there. Hopefully we're not going to be in a death loop and hopefully we can dodge these arrows. Not looking like it's going to happen easily, but at least we're in a good position to quickly search that tower and just run away because there is no way we can actually do this. Like, I've got to search that tower and then just absolutely book it. Just got to dodge these arrows. I'll see you when we get to the tower. Okie dokie, I think we might have gotten past them. Forsworn Shaman completed. Travel to Arquin Point. My gosh, has that been the hardest yet simple sounding objective I think I've ever done. Come on, let's get to the tower before they shoot me in the back. Alright, let's get up here and search what we need to search and just run, 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 run. Quick save here in case anything happens. My gosh, this has been insane. Take that, take that. We deserve everything we got. And, ooh, what have we got here? Bjorman's Diary. Let's take that. We'll take this stuff. And there is no way. What? What? This is insane. We were just doing a bounty. I didn't know we were going to get this. What? Yeah, we'll take that. I, I, ugh, I don't even know what to say. And it all was like, is this light armor? No, it's heavy armor, but it only weighs eight. All of it. Oh, that weighs 50. Yeah, makes sense. But this stuff weighs eight. Okay. Uh... I really want to take this, obviously. We're going to 
take it, take it, take it, and take it. We are going to be severely overweight, but I think what we're going to do is we're actually going to put it on to increase our warmth. So, because what, what's our warmth at in fine clothes? So, 54. Uh, what is the air dragon? So, 54 as well. Okay, put it on. And then put that on to assist with the carry weight. Put this on. And put that on to increase our health so we don't die while we're trying to travel back down the mountain. Um, yeah, this is absolutely insane. I was not expecting to get this armor. Like 100% fire resistance. That's absolutely... <laughs> I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what to think. This is just crazy. This is just so, so crazy. Uh, we need to start looking at stuff to drop. What can we drop? I don't think I've got much stuff to drop, to be honest. Um, I want to keep the bear pelts for the objective. I'm pretty sure that doesn't weigh anything. Um, come on, there's got to be some kind. Okay, that's the first thing going. That's the next thing. Okay, what else can we do? We got the lexicon. Madness. Or, uh, I want to keep that because I'm pretty sure that's Saints and Seducers. Saber Cap Pelt. Oh, pardon me, drop that. Jeez, we still got to find 20. Um, oh gosh, I don't know what to, I don't know what to drop. I mean, we could just go through and drop all this stuff again because this undoubtedly will be weighing us heaps, weighing heaps, but I don't know if I want to do that. Um, Fresh meat. We'll drop that. Um, gosh, I don't know. Drop that. Oh, man. This is just insane. Okay. Um, we'll drop that. Because it's not unique or not special. Um, we'll drop that. Six more points. Six more points. That's easy. We can find six more points. I want to keep that to disenchant it. I want to keep that to disenchant it. Um, we're not wearing these anymore, but they only weigh one. Um, hmm. This is just absolutely insane to me. I cannot believe we've got this armor so early in the game. Um, come on, what can we drop? Think, think, think. We just need six more. Six more uh jeez we've we have gone absolutely to town in terms of the uh <laughs> getting souls which is good good to see but oh, we're gonna have to drop we're gonna have to drop the cave bear stuff because that's okay drop that can we run now okay i think we can run now wither shins what is this restoration increased to 36 uh, is it a long... Yeah, it's a long book and it's just a skill book. I don't think that's going to be necessary for us. We won't take it because obvious reasons. Um, oh, Hilda, you're right here. I need you to carry some things. Can How much can you take? I wish... Okay, you can't take anything anyway. No worries. Chest. Okay, we've done this. Quickly check what this is. Soul gem fragment, no, nothing useful. Okay, we need to go. We need to get out of here so quick. I, oh man, I can't get down from there. Okay, okay, okay. So make sure we got everything from him. Skeleton, take that. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's get out of here. We have to get out of here before they start making their way up because if they get up here, I'm done for. I can't do anything to stop them. We just got to start making our way straight down. Get out of this cold. And Ilnia will... Ooh. Go, 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 go. Ilnia will follow. Okay, quick save here. Oh, man. Let's go, let's go, let's go. You guys... <laughs> this has probably all been... I think this will literally be a total of so far, like, maybe 10 or 15 minutes worth of video for you guys just to give you an idea of the travel time and how long I've been trying to <laughs> to get that bounty. Uh, I'm currently at an hour and 20 minutes of recording and I'm pretty sure this is like maybe 20 minutes for you guys. So this is going to be 
there's going to be a lot that's cut out because there was a lot of traveling, a lot of travel time, and a lot of time where I just kept on dying from random enemy NPCs on the way up here. And then also, as soon as we saw that Draugr Death Overlord or whatever it was before we got to Crow's Tooth, like he was just insanely powerful and he killed us heaps. That's why I just I just decided to leave him. There was just no way that we were going to actually be able to kill him. Like literally no way. Okay, let's go in here and see if we can do anything in terms of potion creation. Um, fortify conjuration, fortify health, fortify sneak, regenerate health. That would have been good. Restore health, restore stamina. We really need uh, some potions that will uh, let us restore or regenerate magicka. We really need some potions and some ingredients to allow us to do that. But we have just done Crow's Tooth. My gosh, I cannot believe how crazy that bounty was. I think the reward, although it's not leveled to us because we are only level 22, I believe, right now, I believe it is definitely well earned and well worth it because the grind to get that has been absolutely insane but from here we're gonna take a a bit of a um <laughs> oh what's the word a bit of a more relaxed uh continuation of this episode and we're going to be traveling to shaw's stone to retrieve uh the ore from filnia i believe it's a misc quest and i just want to get it over and done with so where is it there Re obtain sample or sample from filling out we're going to do that and just get that uh quest over and done with and then from there we're going to be going to riften and continuing on to markarth with the book of love quest my gosh i cannot believe how long this has taken like as i said for you guys you're probably at like 15 20 minutes i would say tops in the video at this point i have been recording for an hour and 20 minutes that's how long it's taken it's been absolutely crazy but we've got this cool set of armor. I'm probably not going to use it. I'm just wearing it right now for the warmth and for the carry weight. Um, but we'll be looking to switch back to our mage stuff soon. And it's got some really good enchantments, but I don't think I'm going to disenchant it. I think this is going to be... Uh, I think this is going to have earned its place in one of the uh, mannequins, mannequin uh, things in our Hendraheim player home. And even after all that, we cannot catch a break, hey? Alrighty, let's get this out. Okay, yep. You guys just take care of each other. I cannot do it. I'm just going to keep running. Oh, and we're still moving super duper slowly. Is this how slowly we move? Just because we're wearing heavy armor? Is that what this is? I'm not sure. In any case, let's get to Shaw's Stone. And this looks like an extremely, extremely good place to get, oh my goodness, over encumbered, uh, to get Nernroot for Ingen. So I'm going to have to remember this place. Uh, this is Serethi Farm, okie dokie. That's going to make completing the uh, Nernroot collections for Ingen like 10 times easier. And here we go. This is looking like a bit of an orcish outpost, judging from the the thing up there. Rift Watchtower discovered. This is what I really like about Skyrim as well, is that you have orcish strongholds, and then you also have like these orcish outposts where they are also strongholds, but they're just not friendly at all to outsiders. So we probably shouldn't be doing this. I probably can't collect any loot from doing this. Uh, that's the that's the weak zombie. Um, but I really want to uh, clear this out and see everything it has to offer. Hopefully, this heavy armor isn't going to be too much of a burden on our ability to clear this out. I mean, it'll definitely help us in terms of we're not going to die super easily like usual because this is, armor is insane but we're not going to have any regeneration going on for our you are an extremely high level orc that's dangerous that is dangerous and i'm over committing i need to get back 
I fought worse than Let's you. get a flame Atronach up here to take the... Where did he go? I'm not sure. Let's just start looting. If we can... Uh, minor healing, definitely take it. Leave the iron ingot. Then we can get plenty of them. Orcish bow. Warhammer of win winnowing. Uh, we're probably going to have to take that. Hellgird's tail. Heavy armor increased to 16. Well, that's what we're wearing right now. The true nature of orcs. We'll leave that for now. I'm going to just pick this up for now. And try and take this down with us. Yeah, this is a funny way to do it, but... Ah, oh, shh. No, no, that's not what I want. Oh, okay. Good, 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 good. You just stay right there. Get that there. This could not have been any better. Bit cheesy, but I do not care. This is just... We have had an insane time, and I just want to get the goals of this episode completed. As I said, we're now at an hour and 30 minutes of record time, of recording time, and I just really want to get it done. This has been so insane for me. But, also, as I said, I really am loving doing this, so it isn't that bad, to be honest. I actually do really, really enjoy just recording in general. Like, it's, it's, it's something, as I've said in, like, previous episodes, just something I absolutely love doing. Like, absolutely love doing it. I actually genuinely like look forward to doing it and I to be honest I can't see myself getting inconsistent with it because it's just something I look forward to so much but in any case we're going to slowly window down this orc and we'll be on our way Oakley Doakley we are in Shaw's stone and oh my goodness has this taken so long believe me I am completely aware of how short or how long the video has been going for for your guys's perspective but just so you guys are tracking i am currently at where is the thing i'm looking for there it is i'm currently at one hour and 50 minutes of recording what's going on oh, it's a real... oh. okie dokie hello oh what's what's this up there is that another wolf is yeah, someone there? I think it is another wolf. Yeah, I'm not even gonna... Uh, I've got to wait for him to be out of combat. And there's another red dot out there. My gosh. Okay, let's kill this thing as well, whatever it is. Another wolf. Okie dokie. There we go. What a shot! <laughs> but there we go. Let's finally get this ore and continue on with the goals of this video. I arrived here looking for work in the mine. I sure haven't. I'm here for Elgrim's ore sample. It's about time. I sent them a letter weeks ago. Ah, that Elgrim. He'd forget his own pants if his wife didn't help him dress. Ha <laughs> <Here you laughs> yes. Tell half Yorg that she can chip off whatever she thinks is a fair trade for their time. Oakley, Doakley, return or sample to half Yorg. I'd like to armor my horse, but I don't know where it is. What's so special about this ore? Red Belly is supposed to be nothing but an iron mine. Been working it for years. Then, right before the spiders had moved in, we found that chunk of ore. Never seen anything like it. I want to know what I'm dealing with before I start tearing it out of the ground. Thank you, Ducky. Yeah, I'll, uh... Mmm... No, we'll save this. We will save this for another time. Actually, let's sell looking some stuff. Looking to protect yourself? Oh, I am looking damage. to sell heaps. I hope you've got plenty of gold, because I have got so much stuff to drop off. Okay, Ducky. We're going to keep those. We'll sell that. We'll keep that. Keep that, keep that. Okay, Don't okay. Kid Where yourself. are you? Stone runs Still here, here we are. Uh, I need to trade some things what with you. Want you. Me to carry? Oh, I'm going to be taking a lot off you. So that. Keep that. Keep that. I'm just going to keep everything enchanted because I don't know what enchantments I do and don't have. Let you keep all that stuff. Okay, you didn't have much. I think it's Let's Hilda going, that's got everything. Hilda, Hilda, don't you dare, don't you dare. There you are. 
I need you to carry something. No, no, I don't. I need to take this and 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 this. Oakley Doakley. How much weight have we got on us? 376. That's quite a bit. But we're about to get a whole bunch of money for it. Was it worth all the trouble it probably caused me? No. But pretty much anything to suit We finally get to sell it now, which is okay. I'm going to stop complaining cuz we get to sell it all off now, get some coin for it. Oh, but jeez, has this taken so long? My gosh. Yep. We'll just sell it anyway, get rid of it. Yep, just sell it anyway, get rid of it. Just uh, get some... Uh, anything else? No. Get some Don't speech yourself. experience. Now, 220 out of 225. I'm still carrying heaps, but he won't buy a lot of it. Um, hmm. Yeah. Okie dokie. Now, let's get on with... Where does he... Where is Elgrim again? Return all sample to half yog. Return all sample to half yog. Perfect. We're going to go back to Riften anyway. So let's do that. Okie dokie. We have just Are arrived in Heather from the Donga. Yes. Uh, vampire hunters. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Must be. The first order of business is going to be. Okay. We're going to go to. Yeah. We're going to go to the Bean Barb. We're going to rent a room. We're going to sleep. We're going to finish that quest. We're going to remember that the man in what the black robes Me? has spawned Wine? in this inn. I'd like to rent a room. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. Thank you very, very much. I'll show you to your We're going to remember that he's way. spawned in here. I, don't have any business with you. I so am not business. interested in doing any business with you either. Let's sleep because our guy has been awake for a few days now at this point and he's not liking it and I don't blame him. So it's four. Let's go 17 hours. There we go. And let's go Magicka, and let's go Magicka. Sweet perk points to increase. Let's have a look-see here. Kindred Mage, Hypnotic Gaze. Okay, we don't really need anything from that just yet, I would think. Conjuration. Uh, Adept Conjuration. Yep, let's get that. And... Bound weapons do more damage, dual casting, spell overcharges the spell, allowing it to last longer. We don't really need that. Destruction, what can we do in here? Rune Master, don't really need that. Impact, don't think we need that just yet. Restoration, let's go. Hmm. Healing spells cure 50% more. I'm going to say we need that just from the... The trouble we've had so far, it's been absolutely insane. Cast Adept Level Alteration Spells for half Magicka. We'll have to be, we'll be looking at getting that one next. This episode has been so insane. And now we have no food because I literally had to eat it all just to survive. Uh, oh no, we do have some food. Okay, that's all right. To uh, basically survive what's happened a lot. Oh, come on, Dale and Jay, out of the way. If you're to survive, the, the, in order to survive in this episode, oh my goodness, I'm so drained because it's, it, this is, I've been recording for so long now. Um, we had to eat, like just mass eat food continuously. Now, if I give you this. Had, this place has seen better days, but it's not my fault. I've brought the ore sample from Filnya. Thank you. I'll be sure to get Elgrim to examine this as soon as his <clears throat> busy schedule allows. Here. Awesome. I had him make you a few things for all that travel. Thank you very much. So filter of the healer, filter of glibness, filter of true shot. Cool, cool, cool. Um, no, we don't. Don't forget. Actually, us okay, no. Yeah, Thanks let's. Again. So you're interested let's in try and sell some of these potions. So she's got 507. Let's get rid of that. 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 Yep. Sell it. Whatever. I'm not in the mood <laughs> right now. Okay. That's going to have to do Don't it because you're lessons. out like of your everything. Oh, we're not friends yet after all that. We're not friends. I can't have your stuff for free. 
No fair. Okie dokie. And then from there, we are going to swim in the dirty sewage water of Riften. Ingen Blackbriar. Mm -hmm. Um, Sorry, just thinking about my experiments. Okay, it's all good. My experiments can't. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, your experiments are very, very important. I get it. All good. We won't disturb you any longer. We're just gonna get on with what, what we gotta get on with. What business college majors have in a place like Sarthal anyway? It's a place for not dead, not your weird experiments. Okay, thank you for your input, and now we are finally going to. I can take you to any of the hold capitals. Where go to, to go? Markarth. So, I'm just going to quickly check my notes. And yeah, so we've done everything we want to do. <sighs> and now let's go to Markarth. Yep. Climb on back and, we'll be, back and we'll be off. My goodness oh, me. <sighs> now, let's... Now has has Gregory has Gregory come with us from wherever he was? Gregory? Oh Gregory. Gregory, 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 it would not seem like it. Gregory is not with us. Okie dokie. It looks like I've definitely learnt my lesson from the from this episode. I'm not going to do anything without a horse ever again. The amount of running I've done and I haven't been able to just run away from the NPCs that have been trying to kill me. I've had to like continually stop and take them on and then I've died and had to start running again and Oh man. You're closing this stall and that's fine. Hey you. Yeah, you. Fresh meat for your stomach. Is that what we're going to teach our daughter? Mama, why are you and Papa fighting? We're not fighting. We're just Why don't I get you something to eat? Mama and Papa will talk later. The bloodiest beef in the reach. Okay, you don't know exactly. about this house? No. Anyone seen entering or leaving? Any strange lights or unusual noises? It's abandoned, and it's always been abandoned. Okay, dokie. We'll have to keep that in mind for later. We to kill another of both. Yes, okay, dokie. And now we're going to make our way up to, I believe this is, yeah, Understone Keep. And we're going to be talking to Cal Salmo to, to continue on with the Book of Love quest line. What are you hiding, priest? I'm not hiding anything. It's closed for a reason. Typical Imperial lies. First, you take away Talos. Now you're keeping us from seeing our honored dead? You and the Jarl will answer for any desecration of my ancestors' bodies. That's enough, Thongbor. We're done. Okay, Dokley. Now let's give ourselves something to eat because our guy is seeing nothing but blood red because he's super hungry. So we'll do that. And we'll do that. That should get us some way there. Yeah, sweet. So now we can actually see the world properly again. And let's find Cal Salmo. Here he is. This is going to be another pet, I bet. So, Cal Salmo. What are you doing here? The excavation site is closed. I don't need any more workers or guards. I was looking for you, actually. I told you I'm not hiring any more guards. Why do you people always bother me when I'm trying to finish my research? You idiot! Do you even know who I am? My The most gosh. recognized scholar on the Dwemer in all of Tamriel. And you people keep bothering me. I... I'm sorry, I... I got too excited. Yeah, I'm you did. I'm in the middle of some very stressful work. Yeah, I can tell you're stressed. I shouldn't have yelled. How can I help you? Jeez. And I'm about to be doing you a favor. I've been sent by Mara to aid you. I was beginning to lose faith that any help would come. Ah, uh, you see, I've been thinking about Feline quite a bit. You know Feline? I'm sorry, I don't know her. Well, suffice to say, she is resplendent, but not without resolve. Striking in all senses. The trouble is that I can't seem to speak around her. My mouth goes dry, and, and I start to shake. I could never hope to approach her. You just need to have something to talk about. That's the trouble. 
I know Feline from the keep, but I have no idea what sorts of things she likes. It's not a simple matter. I could offend her fairly easily by bringing up the wrong subject. I've seen it happen before. Is there anyone who knows what she likes? There is one, Ingvar. He's quite popular with the ladies. Thankfully, Feline is not quite his type, but they've been friends for some time, and he may have some ideas. Please, ask him what she likes. It's my only chance. Okie dokie, let's do that. I'm going to use this real quick. Hopefully, we have the things to disenchant on us. Oh, but I don't want to disenchant that. I'll disenchant this. Yep. Don't want to disenchant that, but I'll disenchant this. Yep. And that looks like it's about it. And look at the soul gems we have. I have been a busy body while we've been running around on the roads trying to fill as many soul gems as possible. So we are going to have an uh, we're going to have an enchanting thing coming up real soon. I want to see what this is all about though. To study. What is Talk it? to the dwarven armored crab. I guess not. Uh, we'll have to look into that later, I guess, because I'd say it's there for something. Where's there it is? Oh, and now let's go talk to Ingvar, the fellow that was just being spoken to outside the house by that uh, the man in the robes. So let's see if he can help out old Cal Salmo with uh, with this little problem of love he's got going on. Where is he? He doesn't have a quest marker on his head. Where is it? The book of love. Yep. There we go. Hopefully he's close by, and he is absolute legend, Ingvar. There you are. Outsiders. Yeah. Okie doke. Well, <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. Okay. Blood and Talk silver, to. Friend. Blood yes, and blood and silver. silver. Okie dokie, Ingvar. For you, outsider. Oh, plenty bloody, plenty bloody. Okie dokie. Um, excuse me. Markarth, is it bloody enough for you? Yeah, more blood is always better. Then you found your home, friend. Blood and silver are what flows through Markarth. Welcome. Sweet, I'm already on the right side of this fella. So, I've heard you might know what Faelene likes. What? Why? Are you interested? I'd rather not say. Ah, a secret admirer, eh? Don't worry, I won't tell a soul. As for what she might like, I didn't tell you this. Feline likes to act tough, but she really has a soft spot for, of all things, poetry. You know, I took some classes at the Bard's College as a youth. Poems come in handy when wooing. There's a poem I once used on an older lady of Rorikstead. I can change it to be about Feline, if you've got some gold. Are you prepared to receive my golden words? That seems like a lot of money. Come back when you got the gold then. Oh, dang, all right. Are you prepared to receive my gold? I'll words? buy it. Wonderful. I'll write it out so you won't forget it. You should probably just let Feline read it herself. Don't want you stumbling over the words and ruining my flow. Okie dokie, deliver the poem to Cal Salmo. And then after that, we are going to, if this is all that the quest requires, because I genuinely can't remember, um, we're going to hit up the the Temple of Debella. Where's Cal Selma? Is he up here? He's never usually up here. I don't think, anyway. Oh, no, that's Faelene. Do I go and talk to Cal Selma about it, or do I just deliver this to her? Who are you to approach the Jarl of Markar? I'm a traveler. I have questions. Very well. You may approach the mournful throne, but watch your words. I want to talk to you about Calselmo. Calselmo? What about him? What do you think of him? Think of him? <laughs> He's an odd little man, always poking around the rooms and wasting time in his museum. Seems friendly enough, obviously intelligent. Why do you ask? I was just curious. Well, aren't you a strange one? I am a strange one. Let's see if I can deliver this poem to Calselmo real quick. Because I feel like I shouldn't just go talking to her without Calselmo knowing. So let's have a 
Let's have a quick chat with Calselmo, see if we've got any options for dialogue that uh, the quest marker isn't going to uh, give us directly. I have to the artifacts I've uh, discovered in the Okay, no, he doesn't. Sweet. Let's go straight back up to Faelene and we will tell her all about Calselmo's feelings for her and see what happens from there. I hope we're not ruining anything because I would have thought... Yes, yes, indeed. I would have thought we'd have to go to Calselmo first, but we will see, we will see. So, Faelene. As his house, Carl, Igman's security is my chief concern. Yeah, it's very interesting. I have a poem I'd like you to read, though. Pardon me? It's from Calselmo, please. I'm not sure what this is all about. You'll read it. Give poem. This is lovely. Calselmo wrote this? About me? I never knew he had such feeling in him. He cares about you. Clearly. I've never even thought of him in that manner. I wish that I was as skilled with words as he. Here, take in this letter. I may not be as eloquent as he is, but I hope he understands. Okie dokie. Uh, I just realized I wish we had have read that. The Dominion is here, and we're watching you. Okie dokie. I just realized we should have uh, read that poem, but all good. Let's see if we can read this. Faelene's letter to Calselmo. My dearest Calselmo, I always knew you to possess a great mind, but your charming poem revealed a depth of feeling I never suspected. I'll admit to being a bit surprised at the direction of your feelings, but not unpleasantly so. Let us meet to discuss further. Yours, Faelene. Ooh. Some little some little high school lovebirds, well, I that think. One from the college. Yes, no. that's that's me. You heard about me. Okie dokie, Cal Selmo. I've only ever lost a few guards to Steam Centurions. Good odds, considering. That is pretty decent odds. Steam cent Centurions are pretty uh they're pretty tough boys. I have a letter from Faelene. This is more than I could have hoped for. Have you really done this for me? I have to see her. Please, excuse me. You're excused, you're excused. Go do your thing, my friend. Go do your oh, thing. Goodbye. And I'm we're Kelsey still Elmer's not nephew. friends. I help him around the laboratory. Oh, very interesting. Too bad I wasn't talking to you. Let's have a look, see at what this interaction is. Is Faelene running to him as well? It'd be so cute if she is. Oh no, he's running all the way up to Faelene. Running all the way up the steps. The Everyone's going to know his business. The man is determined. you got to admire it. Here we go. Outsiders aren't trusted in Markarth. Let's keep that in mind. Faelene, I... Shh. Perfect. It's all right. You don't need to say anymore. I had no idea you were so... Nuanced. I love you. So I hear. Come here, you. Oh, how cinematic. Such fine people. You give an old man hope. <laughs> and we're friends with Cal Salmon now, it looks like. I wonder if that means we can take his stuff. We'll have to see. I believe being his friend will definitely help us out in a quest a little bit later on but i'm not exactly sure i just want to quickly see if we can take his stuff or whether or not it's still stealing there we go yep we're friends now we're friends awesome this Don't is very very handy He'll be here all night. hey your uncle's a good guy he's a good guy he's just misunderstood okie dokie now time to find the temple of debella while we're in markarth and I have no idea which is the Temple of Develop because one thing that I've never had to do, thank you to uh, not being in survival mode, is actually learn where things are in Markarth. So I'm going to guess the Temple of Debella will be like at the highest point, I would say. No, that's the Guard Tower. What was this place? There's like this place right here. So we're going to get to it the uh, the unorthodox way. And Temple of Debella, here we go. With any locks around here. We're going to have a so how do we get up here for future reference? Okay, just go to the blacksmith. And then turn right. Okie dokie, uh, Mark Arth, oh, City Guard. No, Lollygagan. All right, I'll stop talking. 
quite impossible for me they are quite impossible everyone watching this video will assure you of that so let's see if we can take anything that's no the sisters and are communing with Debella. they can't be disturbed okay you'll have to come back another time okay i'll uh I'll, I'll definitely listen to you i'm definitely not ignoring you don't worry definitely definitely not ignoring you so that's an expert lock Let's see, do you have... I'm sorry, the Temple of Debella is... Don't be sorry, don't be sorry, it's quite alright. So, key to the Temple of Debella, key to the Debella, inner sanctum. Hmm. Closed. You can receive your blessing if you wish, but the other sisters are in seclusion. No, no, it's all good, it's all good. I'm going to see if I can lockpick this, though. The inner sanctum. I should be able to lockpick it, it's only expert. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. I tend to be decent enough. Not the best, but decent enough when it comes to lock picking. See, we've almost got it. There we are. It's always when I talk about being decent at lock picking that I become terrible at lock picking. So, what can we do from here? So, we're not supposed to be here, obviously. Hmm. I wonder what's going on in here. What are you doing in here? Paula. Stay where you are. The mother will deal with you. Who's the mother? Uh, yeah, well... Oh, she, <laughs> no, no. Very well, who's the mother? Here she is. Ooh. Ooh, you, ha you guys have nice stuff here. And just what do you think you're doing? Hamal. I was just curious about the temple, to be honest. Unfortunately for you, we don't allow men into the inner sanctum. That seems to be you unfortunate for you. You have and must pay the penalty. What is the penalty? Normally, a quick death. Luckily for you, there are more pressing matters. We could make an example of you, but perhaps you could be put to better use. What use is that, hmm? The ceremony you so rudely interrupted was the exalted protocol of the Debellan Sibyl. I don't expect you to know what that means. Yeah, I've got no Suffice idea what that means. Suffice to say that our Sibyl was recently lost to us. Through the protocol, we have seen the home of the next Sibyl, to the north in a small village pressed against the stone. If you can travel there and retrieve our young Sibyl, your transgression will be forgiven. I will undertake this penance. Where is the village? We believe the place in our vision to be Carthwaston. Now move quickly. The girl must be brought to the temple as soon as possible. Okie dokie. Hmm. <laughs> Anything else in it for me? Have you heard of the blessing of Debella? It can help you with the wooing of women if that's your aim. Or give you strength if you happen to offend one. Typically, mm. we avoid bestowing it upon men. But for the Sybil's escort, we could make an exception. What is a Sybil? The Sybil of Debella spends her entire life in direct communion with the goddess. From the time she's a little girl to the moment she expires, she is a direct connection with the Heavenly Mother. From her reverie, we know the mind of our god. We have had a vision of the next Sybil, living in a village to the north. She must be brought to the temple for her reverie to begin. Hmm. The girl is just taken from her family? It's considered a great honor for the family. Their daughter will never know hardship, and the goddess blesses them with great bounty. Why is this all such a secret? We prefer not to announce that the Sybil has died until we can introduce the new one. People like to know that we're connected to the goddess. Fair enough, fair enough. Until next time. So what would you guys do if I just, uh, if I just didn't, if I just didn't go get the Sybil? Hmm? You're putting an awful lot of trust in me that I'm going to go and do this task for you. Oh, there's lots of stuff down here and I can steal that, but I won't because I feel like you guys uh, will be very angry to say the least if I do steal that okie dokie let's leave the temple and let's actually have a look at the world map real quick actually as to where all this stuff is going down so wowee that's okay that's not it luckily uh journal 
And the Heart of Debella, the Book of Love. So return to Dinya Baloo. We can do that soon. Find the future Sybil of Debella. Where is that? Okay, it's up here in Carthways. Okay, so not too far away. Not too far away. Hmm, I'm thinking... I'm thinking we will... We'll return to Riften. And we will buy a horse at rift no nah, okay we will avoid buying another horse for now hopefully gregory will show up if he doesn't not nah, wrong way if he doesn't show up we will have to just invest in another horse because i i'm i don't care how much gold i have to spend on horses to be honest the experience i've had this episode has just been terrible like absolutely terrible to say the least i know i was already talking about it when we first got to Markarth, but i i feel like i really have to emphasize for anyone that wants to play along in survival mode like the horses they are invaluable to have like annoying in their mechanics and annoying when they just walk away and you cannot find them but invaluable when you can uh use them because the amount of times I have been forced to run, particularly for this entire episode, forced to run to place to place, and because I can't fast travel, I have to pretty much take on every single enemy NPC that aggroes onto me because my stamina's down, I'm moving slower if it's cold, yada yada yada, thank you survival mode, and yet yeah, they just, it, it just... City of Markarth, makes sure everything Abiki. take no so much longer like again for your reference i'm now two hours and 21 minutes of recording and i feel awful because i feel Where like want to go? i haven't done enough in this episode to even call it an episode like we've done a few things in like from what you guys are watching compared to what i've felt we've done very very little climbing back and we'll be off but for me i've been playing for a very long time I swear it rains like, like this, this is probably the longest session rest. i've had since i started recording this series the longest oh pardon me the longest session i've like sat down and done this for and recorded for but in any case let's go find dinya you are debilitated you are famished that's another thing <laughs> just continuously my guy is not sleeping whenever we're doing our carriage travel and not eating so obviously that stuff just destroys us okay, okay. can we i wonder if this bed is still ours is this bed still ours let's have a look see nope let's quickly sleep Oh, uh, what's you your name? Like Kariva. Kirava. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. Thank you very much, Kirava. You right it's quite all right. I know where my room is, Hilda. Please, not in the mood. No. Oh, Hilda. Oh, Hilda. Hilda, Hilda, if Hilda. You're looking for a challenge. You've come to the right place. Oh, Sam. We'll have to take you up on your challenge just a little bit later. Our quest log is looking pretty dang full at the moment, to be honest. Let's go 12 hours. Bada bing, bada boom. So, oh, Kirava, thank you. Let me know if there's anything else you need. There's nothing else I need. Don't thank say you very much, though. Thank you for your hospitality. You in town, and eh? now, let's hit fishing, up the Temple of Mara. So, what we're going to do while we're on the way there, because I haven't been doing it, and we should be doing it, is just hit up Illusion a little bit. Get that going. And Temple of Mara, here we go. And there she is. Dinya Balu. Bid you welcome to her benevolence. Why thank you. I feel very what is welcome. It you seek, my child. I helped the forlorn lovers in Markarth. The goddess smiles at your efforts, child. The dawn shines bright upon you. You have seen the young, fickle love of youth, and helped a more seasoned love find its way. There is one final aspect we wish for you to explore. For a strong love can withstand storms, and even survive death. Take this symbol of Mara. She will guide you to the wandering souls of two whose love was so great that their entwinement binds them to this world. Oakley, Oakley, put on the amulet the of, Mara. of Mara. To all the corners of the frozen wastes, 
I will do that right now because I will definitely forget it next episode. Restoration spells cost 10% less to cast. That's pretty decent. Talk to the long dead lover. Okie dokie. Well, thank you so much for watching this video. Please like and subscribe. Turn on the notification bell and leave any comments below. But most of all, please have a fantastic day and not the day I have just had recording this. Of course, I'm joking. As I said, I am loving this. But in any case, bye-bye.